Good day. We, this week we are looking at how to walk out of discouragement. And yesterday we saw that we can build ourselves up by looking at the Word of God. You know, discouragement is a terrible thing because, man, it, it, your heart gets discouraged and we actually changes our view of life because everything seems to be doomy and gloomy. But today, my second key in walking out of discouragement is to build yourself up in the Holy Spirit. In Jude verse 20, it says, But you, dear friends, carefully build yourself up in this most holy faith by praying in the Holy Spirit. When we begin to pray in tongues, when we begin to pray in the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that we are praying the very deep things of God and we are edifying ourselves and we are praying the very perfect will of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, from verses 2 to 4, it says, I'm reading out the Amplified Bible. It says, For one who speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands or catches his meaning, because in the Holy Spirit he utters secret truths and hidden things not obvious to the understanding. But on the other hand, the one who prophesies, who interprets the divine will and purpose in inspired preaching and teaching, speaks to men for their upbuilding and constructive spiritual progress and encouragement and consolation. He who speaks in a strange tongue edifies and improves himself. I like the way that this portion of scripture ends here. It says, he who prays in his tongue, in the Holy Spirit, energizes, edifies, and improves himself. How much, how many of us need some improvement? How much, how many of us need to be edified? The Bible says that I can be edified and I can improve myself when I begin to pray in the Holy Spirit, when I begin to pray in other tongues. I'm praying the Bible says spirit to spirit, that my mind is not fruitful. Oftentimes, our mind can be the problem. And the Bible says that I can actually shut my mind off. I can make my mind unfruitful when I begin to pray in tongues, when I begin to pray in the Holy Spirit, when I begin to pray spirit to spirit. As I begin to pray in tongues, the Bible says I'm praying the perfect will of God. I enjoy Romans chapter 8, verses 26 to 28 in the Message Bible. It says, Meanwhile, the moment we get tired in the waiting, God's Spirit is right alongside helping us along. If we don't know how or what to pray, it doesn't matter. He does our praying in and for us, making prayer out of our wordless sighs, our aching groans. He knows us far better than we know ourselves and knows our pregnant condition and keeps us present before God. That's why we can be so sure that every detail in our lives of love for God is worked into something good. I enjoy the way that the Message Bible brings us out. It's saying that we are praying with utterings and groanings that are too deep for words. We are praying spirit to spirit. We are praying on our pregnant condition. So I enjoy that analogy because it's saying we are pregnant with something. We are pregnant with the answer. We are pregnant with seeing ourselves walking out of discouragement. We are pregnant with seeing our prayers answered. And the Bible says, man, we can pray out our pregnant condition when we get, begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you today. Don't neglect praying in tongues. Don't neglect the power of the Holy Spirit praying in and through you as you begin to pray in your prayer lang language. If you want to walk out of discouragement, step number one, man, get yourself in, immersed in the Word of God, get promises into your heart, and then secondly, begin to pray in the Holy Spirit and pray the deep things of God. And you'll find that your mind and your emotions begin to change because you are praying in the Holy Spirit. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.